Hi, I'm Oliver, age 24. And I'm Conor Mahern. And this is Bossa Studios. So we're a game studio, and today we want to take you through some of our previously released games, and basically the history of the company. Now, it's unusual, but every 30 games that we make in Game Jams, only one of them ends up being released. So if you thought that the games we actually end up releasing are weird, you should see the other 29. <laughs> uh. So originally we started out making Facebook games like Monster Mind and Merlin. Facebook? Is that where I poke your mother, Ali? I believe it is and she'd quite like it if you stopped. What about your dad? Monster Mind, as I'm sure you've probably guessed by now, was a game involving monsters and then basically destroying cities. With your mind. Here's some gameplay of Monster Mind. Hold up, that looks like a Clash of Clans rip-off. Well, funny you should say that, Oliver, because this actually came out the year before Clash <gasps> of Clans. I know. They're off making millions, whilst Monster Mind has since been removed from Facebook. Apologies to the four people that were playing it. After Monster Mind, we then went on to release Merlin, a game based on the TV show Merlin about a wizard called Merlin. And the intimate love story between him and his knight, Arthur. I think I read a fan fiction of that. Was it the one that I wrote? Now we're not bitter, but we did move away from Facebook after that, and in 2013 we started working on mobile games. Now technically these games came out after Surgeon Simulator, but we started them before. There was DDD, a challenging pixel art mobile game, and 12, a 2D platformer that combined educational puzzles with narrative and platforming gameplay. And then, something happened that would change Bossa Studios' lives forever. Find out what it was in the next episode. It was Surgeon Simulator. There's nothing that we can say about Surgeon Simulator that we've not already said before. So here's a montage. It's pronounced montage. Now, after Surgeon Simulator, our accountant said that if we really wanted to bring in the dough, we'd make Surgeon Simulator too. But we really focused in on that word dough. This is I Am Bread, Bass's first game that we released through Early Access so that we could build a game with you. I believe it's the first game in history to ever come out of the other side of Early Access. Now we've always been passionate about the advancements in virtual reality as I'm sure you saw in last week's office tour. We're even making a full Surgeon Simulator VR game. And that brings us to now, we're working on our most ambitious project to date, Worlds Adrift. It basically ties together everything we put into all of our previous games, like multiplayer, physics, it's effectively a huge package. <laughs> huge package. <laughs> Oliver, for God's sake! Jesus, <laughs> can't do anything! <laughs> We also released the Worlds Adrift Island Creator, which marks the first time that Bossa Studios is using player-created content in one of our games. So if the game does poorly, we know who to blame. In conclusion, we've come a really long way from the condemned building that we started in. We've survived floods, fires and even electrical outages. Also, one time there was a dog in the studio. That, that I mean, productivity completely died that day. We've got a lot of things right and a lot of things wrong. And one thing that we've learnt along the way is it's not the developers that make a successful game, it's the players. And that's the end of the video. So hit subscribe, like and comment if you enjoyed what you saw. Oliver, it seems like we've been struggling to, to nail down some sort of regular outro. Have we, what do we have this week? Oh, this just in, we've got a song.